you fellas, the Iron Chessie here. I'm back for another Marvel Funko Pop 2023 video for you guys. And today I'm reviewing another Spider-Man No Way Home figure for the lineup. And that is the Integrated Suit Spider-Man Bobblehead. So this is based off of No Way Home from the second wave from this year. And I got mine off of Amazon last month. And this figure costs 12 US dollars here in North America and around the world for the lineup. So without further ado, let's take a look at him. So here he is. So this is like my second No Way Home bobblehead that I added in my collection. Because the first one I got was the final swing suit back in like in March that I'm going to say. So anyways, this is my second one right here. So this is the entire front part of the figure right here. Well, they did make a integrated suit Spider-Man before from two years ago. But this is the different look right here so this is the different posing position right here and the like different designs right here so this is the front of the head right here and he has another stand right here that is still stuck to his back so it's not removable right here so anyways i like that face mask design right here with the eyelids right here that looks pretty nice and for his torso right here i like the paint abs for that black and gold spider logo right here since it is mixed with the nanotechnology from that iron spider infinity war suit and it also makes with that upgraded suit right here so that looks pretty nice looking so i am a fan of the integrated suit from the movie right here so i like the nice paint abs right here for the spider logo and also the top and bottom part for his torso i like the black color scheme right here for both of his left and right leg as you can see which is nice looking i like that posy position right here which is nice looking and also this is what his boots look like so that looks pretty nice with that nice feet detailing we have some like black right there and a little bit of bluish right here that little dark bluish color right here well i feel like it's mostly that or in that blackish color so that looks pretty nicely detailing i like the gold paint abs right there for these parts for his legs right here so yeah that is very nice and totally outstanding right here so i like that lining structure right here for his arms right here so that looks pretty nice and cool looking as you can see and that is pretty detailed and fascinating so this is the top part of his head right there as you can see which is really outstanding so here we have the side of the figure right here we have the side of his head and also the side of the torso so we have that shoulder pad piece right here and that gold look right here well mine is a bit cricket right here since it's not that connected well i mean it's not together so i meant to say right here well yeah mine's a little bit off right here and also we have the side of the arm right here and also the side of the torso right here with some of the rest of the parts of the logo and the side of the leg right here so that looks really nice and cool looking and taking a look at the other side right here so we have the same side for the head and different angle for his arm right here so we have that nice position look right here well mine is a little bit scratched up right here so i don't understand what's up with that well they did a nice job with it well i don't understand why mine is a little bit scratched up right there and also we have the side of that torso right there which is nice looking with the red and the black right there and the rest of the spider logo itself and we have the side of the leg right here bending that knee part right here as you can see which is totally cool looking and very outstanding and also we have that bottom part for his feet with that back with the black coloring is what I meant to say. And taking a look at the back of him. So this is the back of his head right here. And also this is what his back torso detailing right here looks like. So that looks pretty outstanding. We have the spider logo itself with the black and gold color scheme right here. So that looks pretty outstanding. And we have the back of the legs right here and the hip part. So that looks pretty outstanding and once again they're bobbleheads so their heads bubble like so but yeah that is pretty nice and cool again and there is another version of this character without his mask on that has peter parker's head on in a different position right there that is like battle damage from that scene where ant-man dies and all that type of stuff but yeah, it is pretty nice looking, so I finally got the integrated suit, but in a different position right here. So that looks pretty nice and outstanding right here, since I like the posing position for this figure right here. But 
At least I like the nice look right here. So that is so freaking nice and outstanding right here for the lineup. So nothing much to say right here, but that is all I've got so far for the lineup. So that is it for the figure itself. Now let's move on. So to the overall, this is a pretty cool looking bobblehead in my opinion. And at least I like the nice look right here since I am still a fan of the integrated suit from the movie itself. I like the nice paint abs and the detailing for his head and even his torso right here. And that is a pretty good posing position right here so again we do get that same clear stand that is still stuck to the character's back right here so it's not removable at all right here so it's just how the way it is right here so i totally like the nice detailing look right here for the arms the torso and the legs right here and the face well not the face well yeah i could say that well the mask right here is pretty outstanding right here so i like the nice detailing for that with the lenses and stuff right here and yeah it is pretty nice and detailed right here so again there is another version of the integrated suit spidey right here that is unmasked that has tom holland's peter parker's head right here but in a different position right here well different posing position is what i meant to say not like this it's something else right here but anyways like i said i got mine off of amazon from last month which is in july right here but at least this is a pretty nice figure right here so again this is like my second no way home bobblehead that i've gotten from funko because the one that i've gotten back in march of this year was the final swing classic suit right here so at least this is my second one right here like i said it, it is really nice looking well i'll see if i could get the other characters from the film itself for the lineup but hopefully I'll get a chance to, but I'll see what I can do. But at least I love this figure right here since they did make a integrated suit back in two years, but that was in a different posing position right here. Well, I feel like the red color scheme for it is like a lightish one. Well, this one right here, they made it into like a dark red color. So anyways, it is really nice and cool -y -y right here. So I'm glad I got the integrated suit in my collection, but this one is so very nice and outstanding for the lineup. So nothing much to say, but that's all I've got so far for the lineup. So that is it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell, the save button. And don't forget to Hulk smash that comment section down below. And tell me in the comments what you guys think about this figure for the lineup. I'll see you later. I'll